Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Dubai, depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos. Another update Chukwe Mecca or the Mwegujuku University, Anamba State, suspends activities over heightened gunmen attacks. That is what is happening in Anambra State again. Again, in Anambra State. Talking about activities at the, uni, at the Uli campus of the Anambra State on the Chukwe Mecca or the Gojuku University, formerly Ansu, Anambra State University. There have been temporarily halted activities. Activities in that school has been temporarily halted following the heightened activities of gunmen operating within Ihiala local government area. They said most of the attackers came from the neighboring Osu and all the east local government areas of Imo State who carry out hit and run operations in the various communities in Ihiala local government area. Now, academic and non-academic staff of the university who were on their way to work had to turn back as the government were shooting sporadically at the popular total filling station along the Onesho Way Expressway. You know that total filling station? at um, Olo Junction in Ihiala. They said they scared the people out of the road in the gas. Okay. Now the government had earlier barricaded the famous Nkwobe main market in Ihiala and all the banks in the area. Okay. To stop people from transacting their businesses. An official of the university who spoke on the issue said all scheduled meetings and lectures at Uli campus for this week have been cancelled by the various heads of departments and units. He said that authorities at the institution's administrative headquarters at Ibariam and Amba East local government have been briefed of the development. Meanwhile, the police is the police command in the Anamba State said that following such distance, they have improved the operational and strategic positions of both human and viable assets of the command. They said the Joint Security Forces comprising of the police and military have dispersed the illegal order of sit at home. That's what the police is saying now. Now, the command's public relations officer, PPRO Mr. Tochi Kikanga, said in a statement that, that members of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, who were armed with guns and other dangerous weapons, came out in their numbers on motorbikes and started shooting sporadically in an attempt to disrupt commercial activities and vehicular movement in Ihiala. Look at what he said, I quote, The joint operative responded swiftly, which made the armed men abandon their evil plan and took their to their heels. Unfortunately, due to the indiscriminate shootings by the armed group, a stray bullet hit the chief security officer, CSO of a bank, on the leg, and he was taken to the hospital where he is currently receiving treatment. No life was lost. Calm has returned in the area as the police with other security forces have intensified patrols and improved security dominance and surveillance in the area. End of quote. Now we are talking about Uli. Here now, you see what the police is saying now that uh, the people who are enforcing it at home they have dispersed them this and that. Look, we have said this. Listen, listen. You know this thing we are talking about what happened on Monday during the sit at home. We have said this. The people of the South East said they want to sit at home on their own. Because of the continued detention of Mazen Amdekano, over what he knew nothing about, over frivolous charges, over you know the 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 criminal charges that are not here, not there, unfounded charges against him. The court of competent judicial said he is free from all this nonsense, the nonsense they preferred against him, and you are still holding him. What are you? You know what? What do you want? Nigeria should tell the South people of the South East zone what they want from them. Let them come out open and say it. If you want to destroy the zone, let them say it. Let the world know. Let the world know what is happening. You see what they're saying when you hear now. Odumegu Juku University, the campus in Uli has been shut down because of this thing happening there. We are telling you, you have to take it to the bank. The police, the DSS is aware of what is happening. Most of these activities, they said, the unknown government is DSS. We are doing our investigation. I tell you, we used to stay in, even in government places, but they wouldn't know where we get the information from them. We send people to these places, 
disguised to get information. Some of these things are being done by the DSS. Because no sane person who says he's fighting for freedom for his people will go and kill them. No, there are so many ways to, uh, to enforce laws. If you want to enforce it at home, you know, you will not kill people because you enforce it at home. Nobody will do that. Nobody will kill. Because they're enforcing, they can only chase people inside and chase them and say, go inside, don't come. Oh, they can seize their goods so that they will not come out again next time. But you see these killings and this DSS is carrying them out. In most cases, if not is if not criminal activities, you see the any, any other killing in the southeast or in Anambra, any part of the southeast, is you can trace it to DSS. That is it. You can say IPOB is saying they are protecting these people and they want to kill them. No way. No way. The IPOB and the SN, they are for protection. They are protecting the people. IPOB is mainly for conversing for referendum. Why ESN is the armed wing of IPOB and that is for defense. If I will tell you that I will be tired of saying this thing, I'm lying. In as much as the police and the army and the DSS will continue their onslaught and their evil propaganda. And worse still, their gimmicks, their evil strategy of disguising themselves as criminals and they will go and cause trouble, kill people. They, and they will say IPOB. In as much as they will not stop in this, will not stop to say the truth here, to tell the world what's happening in the eastern Nigeria. That's our concern. Eastern Nigeria. What is happening there? So, this Odmoe Gojuku University in Uli shut down is as a result of what we have said now. The activities of DSS who disguise themselves to cause trouble so that people will say, oh, the, um, IPOB and ESN, you say you are fighting for us and what's happening? Or why, why are you shooting and they're killing us? Why is the bullet hitting us? And you are fighting for us. So all, this, is, this is all blackmail. Once police leave these areas, DSS moves out. You will see that normalcy will return. Peace will return. And we tell you these things. When the former governor of Imo State's uh, son-in-law, Uchemosu, was abducted in a church, when you see the way and manner this man was abducted, you will never believe that DSS did that. It was like the activity of this, of, of hoodlums, criminals. People felt that the young man was kidnapped by hoodlums because of the commando style, everything they used, you know, they are normally, everything about them was criminal, 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 criminal. It was after several hours, five, six hours, the, the news has gone viral that the, the young man, the son-in-law to watch a culture, has been kidnapped. After several hours, the police said, the police said that the young man was, the, the young man is in their custody. It means they are the one, they were the ones that abducted him in that criminal way inside the church. Inside the church. Inside the church with the guns everywhere, surrounding everybody. So it's to tell you the we have known these people, we have mastered what they're doing, their tricks, and they cannot deceive us. So that is it. So in here, you see what's happening there in Uli. See what's happening there? It is DSS is causing it, and the police is causing it. That is what you are saying.